Hi guys. Uh, welcome to another episode of Yacht Attack, but this time there's no fishing. Uh, I'm just going to explain to you about this new machine here, the Slayer 10. Um, it, it is a new product by the Native Watercraft and um, I'm just going to explain to you uh, how I mount my things and all the different parts of the kayak. Okay, first of all, just let me go to the external. Okay, first of all, this is the anchor line. Okay, you can see this place is where I tie, I tie to my anchor so that when I pull this line, okay, it goes to the front so that my anchor will be at the front okay alternatively i also can push it all the way to the back here okay next i'll move on to the propel this is the new native propel okay the new native propel the bar mount is shorter than the old version you can see okay so it only fits the uh, slayer 10. okay as you can see there's a lot of bars here Okay, along the thing. These are all uh, for mounting your, your your stuff. Okay, next I'll go to the uh, the seat. Okay, you can see the seat is extremely comfortable. Okay, there's a bit of cushion now. Okay, they also elevated the seat so you have a better view. Okay. Next, I'll move on to the sliding bars you see at around the kayak. Okay, you can see here. Now, now, layer 10 comes fitted with all these sliding bars. Okay, you can see there's the front also have. There's all around it, you have them. What are they used for? They are used for you to mount all your stuff. Okay, it's, it is very easy to, to use this. Uh, for example, this is for me to put my uh, pedal. Okay, as you can see, once I turn it, okay, I can move it up and down. So I can, I can in the sea I can easily move them around to my, to my, to my according to my needs. Okay, once I'm done with it, I just have to turn it clockwise, and then it will be screw tight. Okay, and this is where I put my pedal. Okay, next I'll move on to the front. What I have here is the real blazer star pot mount okay similarly it comes it, it comes with it fitted nicely in the in the slide in the sliding bar okay you can see i can take it out it, it's like that okay so i just have to slide it in turn it clockwise tighten it and then i can immediately mount my gopro mount over here okay this is my gopro mount i put it right in front so you can capture all the fishing moments okay Next, I'll move on to the back. On the back, you can see that you have this uh, this area here for you to put all your stuff. Previously, the marina tent, uh, this 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 portion here is actually uh, water can come in. It's actually flush with the water. But in the new version, they have actually uh, put it like uh, they have really done it up like that. So it's slightly different. So you also have all this uh, this this stuff to actually tighten and keep all secure all your things all these bands that can you can secure all your things okay uh, next I'm going to do, go to the rudder system okay this is another big difference from the uh, between the Slayer 10 and the Marina 10 for the Slayer 10 you can see this rudder system control sorry the rudder control is left and right if you remember have you seen the Marina 10 before it's on the side the rudder system is on the side and it's supposed to be up and down okay so this is the other difference okay over at let's take a look at the rudder now okay you can see that the rudder here is slightly also slightly different from the marina 10 it's longer okay and it's much better in terms of controlling and turning okay i'm going to show you how i mount my uh, ray marine fish finder okay this is the ray marine dragon 55 so um I can tell you this is one of the best uh, fish finder uh, out there in the market. It uses the chirp technology, so the down scanning images are really photo like. And then um, it has the normal sonar as well as GPS as well. So next, let me show you how I'm going to mount it. Um, as you can see, I have the ram mount, mount ball here. So all I have to do this is the ram mount 
far you can get it from Elton uh, from Nautic Adventures okay like that as you can see using the sliding bar here I've already mounted the other part of the ball here so all I, all I need to do is release a bit of tension and then mount it over here and tighten it okay see I can easily move move it around up to to see whether I can uh, it's up to my comfort level okay next you can see here this is the the wire the the wire for the ray marine this is where I will I will mount at the back of my fish finder okay a while later I will show you the uh, the transducer how I mount it okay. so, uh, I'll show you how I mount my rail blazer uh, rod holder okay as you can see it comes with this star pot uh, mount as well you can slide up and down according to your needs okay so I decided here is the best place for me I turn clockwise to tighten it and then this is the rod holder from rail blazer all I just need to do is unlock so, and then I fit it in and then I locked it this thing will be here and and saved okay if I want to move it around when I'm fishing in the sea just turn it anti-clockwise move it up and down let's say this area here just have to turn it clockwise to tighten it again okay unlock if it's not facing the correct direction unlock pull it out turn it flip it back in and lock it that's all now let's move on to the back of the kayak so I have my uh, bed back here it has, it has the palm it is where all I keep my prawns and stuff so usually when I uh, adjust my seats nicely I usually have some space at the back okay this is where I mount I will put my bed box okay my bed back rather so I can when I'm seated here okay when I'm seated here I can just reach from the back and get the prawns from here so next to the back here um, so like I said you have this all these bands here to secure your stuff but uh, for me I don't usually use it uh, I usually push it back all the way back and then for myself I have this basket here okay in this basket I have all the things that I need my raincoat okay my lures my lures my weights my uh, hooks Okay, and all the things that I need, my lines, my scissors, my boga, my scissors are over here, all the things that I need, okay? As you can see that the back here, they have all these bars as well, the sliding bars here, okay? You can, just now the uh, rail blazer mount, you can also detach them and then mount it back here so that you have uh, rod holders, you can fit all your rod holders at the back and you can put your rod. This is quite useful when you are doing uh, trawling, so you can put your rod behind and do the trawling. Okay. Next, uh, I'll show you how I put my battery for my fish finder. That will be from the, the front. Okay, this is the battery I use for my Ray Marine. Um, it's a 12 volt battery, and it can last probably. Usually, I kayak from the morning about 6:30 to about 12, so it probably lasts me half a day already, which is good enough for me. Okay, so I'll move on to the front. Okay, we have a dry hatch over here. Okay, you can see. It has over here is where all I run my electricity and mount my batteries. You can see a box here with the velcro strip here. The bottom I have all the velcro strip as well. So what I do is I put it down here. I fit them here, and then all I need to do is connect my connect the black and uh, sorry the red and blue connectors to the battery, and that's all I need to uh, run my my fish finder. So you, are, so you probably are wondering how do I um, get the electricity um, through here, the wires through here. Okay, this is what uh, Elton did for me. You can, if you purchase the uh, Slayer 10 or any other kayaks from him, you can ask him for some help. He's a nice good chap. So um, what he did was he drilled a hole here. Okay, he passed through the transducer as well as the wires, the power wires through the hole here and then he actually seal it with a rubber and then he stick it pretty well so that water doesn't go in okay so the transducer goes all the way down 
through the hole here and then the transducer is actually at the bottom of my kayak okay and you can use uh, the marine goop to actually uh, you can put some marine goop to stick it in place uh, otherwise uh, it, if you don't put it it's also fine because um, it is quite 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 tight already okay guys I've come to the end of my sharing session so I hope what I shared uh, has benefited you uh, and give you an idea on what you want want to do with the kayak and where you want to mount all your things so uh, for anything you have any questions regarding uh, the kayak you can of course you can contact me or you can also contact uh, Elton from uh, Nautic Adventures for any questions about real real blazer products the mount as well as the rod, uh, the rod holders you can contact fishing quarters so with that uh, I'll call it the uh, and I hope I can get out the water soon and get you some uh, fishing action. One, two, three, it's on!